your attention something that we discovered here at the entrance of the Botanic Gardens at OSU. This is a plant called Sky Rocket, and it's almost past blooming, but what I wanted to show to you was this natural occurring mutation that happens in a wide range of plants. You can see that the width on this stem is much wider and it's flatter than your typical stem. And this mutation is called fasciation. It can happen on a lot of different plants and the good news is that it's not contagious. It doesn't necessarily harm the plant or anything. It's just a natural occurring phenomenon. What happens is this mutation actually causes the cells to flatten out, creating this banding or ribbing, rather than growing cylindrical in which they would continue to grow normally. They can be caused by a lot of different things, environmental changes, um, hormonal imbalances, sometimes viruses and insects, but really it's not going to harm your plant. If you don't like it, you could simply trim it out of this plant. Um, but it's, it's kind of interesting to be on lookout for this fasciation. Now, you probably have actually seen it and you may not be aware of it, but there are some plants that they've actually selected for fasciation. A lot of your succulents will get fasciation. Um, and here we have an Echinopsis forma cristata, which has been selected for this fasciation. Cristata meaning crested, as you can see, it kind of has that crested look. A lot of times succulents are selected for this. Also, there's another plant that you're probably familiar with, with the good old fashioned coxcomb. That is one plant that has also been selected for the fasciation, and it's actually genetically passed on through the seed. So if you happen to find some fascinating fasciation in your garden, don't be concerned. There's nothing to worry about. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.